good day guys first of all Merry Christmas and second of all my alternator went out last week and I've been pretty much surviving off this little trickle charger from Noco honestly best $52 I've spent I've been going back and forth in town to work and do it to errands, and this little guy's been saving my butt since then I'm talking maybe a few kilometers bare back maybe six kilometers to go and back to work and it's been it's been fairly decent and I'm curious now how far I can actually drive until I start having issues with this little bit of battery this is a battery from EC Delco I got about a year ago I think now at this point right now I just have it fully charged 12.9 volts and uh, just so I'm not full of crap I'm gonna show you guys what the reading is what it looks like when I'm running it See battery gauge almost full. And that is not what you want to see. Battery lights on to everything. Just below the just below the half mark. Normally when it's charging you should see 14.4 volts or 13 something volts there. That's not what you want to see. That's the battery that's been discharged, so so I have to do about 30 kilometers to my destination, so it's about 30 minute drive, so we're about to see how long I can drive until I start getting issues. I do have a battery charger and a generator with me, in case if I were to break down the middle of the road, at least I'm not in trouble, so join me in the ride, we're about to see how far we can go with this guy. Alright, I'm gonna go full on Apollo 13 on this truck. So no heater, no radio, and no headlights either, I'm gonna reset the trip. All right, this is where we're at. Yeah, let's get that going. All right, so about five minutes in, 7.4 kilometers. Battery gauge is still holding up okay. It is about minus seven degrees right now, and so far I'm not seeing any issues. Wish I could get some tunes going, but uh, can't really do that right now, so. Okay, I'm taking a little detour here. Don't wanna get stuck on a highway there. 14.4 kilometers and battery gauge uh, Yeah, you can kind of tell it's getting low there and Jeez, I'm starting to freeze my ass in here. So Yeah, can't wait to get home there. I'm actually quite surprised you can drive this far with a bad alternator Like I mean, I guess it all depends with your state of your battery and how good it is and whatnot If it's a piss poor quality battery you have well, guess what you're not even gonna get that far. So Yeah I'll keep you guys posted. All right, last stretch. I guess I've got to play tunes this whole ride. About 20.4 kilometers. I just show you guys. Yeah, yeah I, I, I guess it's getting there, but frick, no sign of slowing down. Honestly, do Toyotas even need alternators? <laughs> All, right. All right, we're still going. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a bit of gas, just to see if I can cause any issues on purpose. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You could see the battery gauge just drop a tiny bit, but hell. Wow, that's actually quite impressive. We only got a few more turns to left and uh, we'll be all set. You know what, I'm just gonna floor at this point. I really want to see that battery gauge drop. And three, two, one. Hey, yo, what? Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> There's no <laughs> way I just did that. Holy <laughs> I floored it and then, oh my God. You're telling me this alternator hasn't worked in a fucking week? I floor it and it just starts working again? You have got... Okay, there's no fucking way I just did that. Holy actual fucking... My mind is fucking blown right now. As if I got that on video. Holy fucking... Hold on, let me just fucking... Park. Holy fucking... You have got to be fucking kidding me. That's after I bought my alternator and I had brought to another shop just to make sure it was that I floor it and it's just oh my god there's just no way what if
there's no way I just did that. You know what? I'm actually gonna check the battery voltage just just to make sure it's not the gauge that's just acting up. Okay. Oh, that's actually quite unfortunate. I want to show you guys what the battery voltage was like. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that first. Okay, truck is off. I want to get a reading from the battery before I start it up again. All right, reading a battery. Holy mac, okay. I, I guess that alternator revival just really fucking dwarfed my plan. Well, you guys saw how the battery gauge looked like, so I would say probably about, what, 40, worst case, 30% of charge. But yeah, I probably could have went on maybe another 30 minutes with this, so. Yeah, well, I guess I'm, that's how I'm going to end this video. <laughs> Holy f***. As if that started working like that. Well, I'm just going to start it again, just so that's not a fluke. Oh, okay. Yeah, you heard a starter. You was struggling just a tad bit. But dude, you got to be kidding me. Holy Sorry for the foul language, but holy f I've been driving like that for a whole f week and I just floor it. And look at that. You know what, just for context, this is what the, uh, where the alternator is. That right there, that's your uh, uh, power steering pump. And this guy right here, down there. Right there, I think, there we go. Yep, that's how far it is. Stupid deep to change that. How's that battery look? Wow, that is actually insane. As if. Well, I guess if you have a Toyota Tundra, the battery lights on, just give it a beans, and uh, you'll be you'll be up and ready in no time. <laughs> wow, I don't know what to tell you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you did, give it a like, leave a comment. Share this with your friends, your family, your your friends. I don't know, man. Whatever. Dude, I'm tripping out right now. Ain't no way. I'm just making sure. <laughs> All right. You guys take care. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Take care, guys. We'll see you guys around.